Hey guys, and welcome back to Final Fantasy IX. It's time to cast the controller on over once again. Last time we, you know, just did the Black Mage Village and to dealt with some, I don't know, dying people and no big deal. Cool, leveled up. Oh yeah. But mostly we just talked to black mages. BB had a bit of an identity crisis, but ultimately decided he liked being here. Where did the big old village go? This way? That way, yep. Uh, we learned what we're doing next on our adventure. Woo! Learned confused. Was there anything that- excuse you. Was there anything that I needed to change? She learned that from Lamia's tiara. Oop, nope. Um. Nothing, huh? Oops, what did I just equip? Well, we're gonna stick with that then. And I need to check something. Yep, learned all of that. No! I keep mixing up A and B again. Again. I'm gonna throw a Kakushka on her. We have 11 Paradox. Anyway, I updated their stuff, and I'll just cut it all out. Basically, I just changed it so that he has power belt. Was that the right thing? Yeah, I optimized VV through the black belt on Zidane. Pretty much all I did. But what we need to do is we need to go back to Conde Pate, or however it is you say, to ask about their sanctuary. Oh, uh, yeah. If you're wondering... Why I always end up with so much money? It's because I don't run from a single fight unless I'm dying actively, painfully. Let me in. Kunde Pate. Let us see how this goes. So this sanctuary is on the other side of that valley. But the exit leading there from the upper floor is guarded by a dwarf who won't let us through. Twin Dwarfies block way out from shop on right side. No can get through. Hmm. Let's just try to go as far as we can. I see what happens. Let, let me up the route. For that is the route I need to take. Huh? Huh? I want to speak to you. Did you meet the Pinty Hits? I did, in fact. Yeah. But he had not gone under, undergone the ceremony, so he could not pass through. I still can't do their accents. Uh, just can't. How about letting me through the shop? How's about it, bro? Hello, Moogle. Do you have any... Nope. Kansla. Jenny's a bony lass, is she no? I wouldn't know. And I'm sure the Dane might, but, uh. Rally ho! Um. Have one. Just making sure I've got everything. You understand. You understand. Nope, nope, nope. Nope. Say, I wanna get through here. Never! Only those who received the ceremony can pass. What the heck is that ceremony? Speak to his holiness! And where is his holiness? I don't know where he is. You're loads of hell! I like the music in this town. I really do. But where is his holiness? Are you his holiness? This is where we give thanks to the sun in the heavens. You're not. You are a waste of my time. How's about you? Kirk boat, symbol of Conde, put ba ba Boat? I don't know what you're talking about. What's a boat? Yeah. 
speak to his holiness. I don't know where he is. None of you are helpful. Come on, owl. Turn into his holiness so I don't have to find him. How do I run again? I've been walking everywhere because I forgot I had to hold down a number. Nope. 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 You two. Tell me where he is. Blah, 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 blah. Is there here? Did I go here before? I did. Are you his holiness? Hey, mister. Are you the holy guy? <laughs> oh my god, Zidane. <sighs> David Heavenguard. Hi, I'm Father David. What are you doing hanging around this hallway? Well, priest has much to worry about, you see? Yeah, whatever. Look, we want to get past this village. <laughs> Tradition states only those that undergo this ceremony can approach the sanctuary. So, what the heck is that ceremony about, anyway? Well, after man and woman are blessed in holy union, they leave on holy pilgrimage. 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 That's the most delicious pigs in a blanket you'll ever have, for they are blessed by the gods. Pilgrimage to the sanctuary. So, basically, it's a wedding. And a honeymoon, right? Oh my god, Zidane. Uh, do not know your words, lad, but we think you're understanding. So we can go to this sanctuary if we undergo that ceremony, right? Oh, hey, Dag. <laughs> I can't, I can't. Give me a second, guys. <laughs> okay, I think I'm better. Oh, hey, Dagger. Yeah, see, so yeah, that's the deal. What do you think? We can go if we get hitched. But there's no way we'd actually. Let's do it. What? <laughs> Let's just freeze frame for a second here. I love how he's just like literally leapt back from her. Like, dude, bro, what? What? Whereas the priest there's just nodding like, yeah, that's how this works. You guys are weird. Say, you want to be joined, eh? The ceremony's only for dwarves, see? We have so few young folk nowadays. We're down to 99 couples. 99? That's not, not a... Not a few. And I was worrying about that very thing. What's the harm? Now we can have our 100th ceremony! Um... <laughs> oh, Zidane. Yeah. I think that's what I'm going to use for the thumbnail. I try to avoid thumbnails with text box, but that's beautiful. Uh, Dagger, what, what's going on? Eh? Eh? Spirits, oh, the mountain. Spirits, oh, the wood. I'm doing terribly. Uh, now how did I get into this? <laughs> Zidane, your smart mouth has gotten you into trouble again. Watch over this man and woman as they begin their journey. We gotta do this ceremony to get past this village. And only a guy and a girl can have the ceremony. Hey. I guess the dwarves aren't super modern. Now, hold on a sec, Dagger. Don't you get it? This is marriage! M-A-R-R-I-A-G-E! I did that a lot better than I thought I would, actually. I was certain I'd messed that up somewhere. No kidding. We have to do it to go on, right? Yeah, but that's not reason enough. Aw, oh, Zidane's a romantic! Oh, come on. <laughs> or a commitment foe. It could go either way. What is she thinking? Um, that it's a dwarven ceremony and doesn't matter and by your law? She's supposed to get angry and say, no way! In sickness and in health, I do not know your words, but let me just go ahead and take a cliche phrase from your regular ceremony stuff. Of course we're just trying to get past this village. Have the strength to carry through the trials. Could it be that she likes me? Don't get your hopes up, Zidane. Don't do it. And the wisdom to follow the path. Gotta admit, I was pretty deep that night in the ma Black Mage Village. Maybe that's when she fell for me. I'm such a stud. <laughs> ah, I forgot about this! Oh my god, he's so cringe! <laughs> I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. 
May the blessings of heaven be upon this man and woman. I like how people in the background are just like, let us shimmy and shammy. We will shimmy and shammy and do the jammy while they get married. Shimmy and shammy. Yeah, no, no. I can't read that out loud. It's so bad. Dagger, now we're man and wife. Time for the kiss. Uh, no. No. Let's just freeze frame there for a second as I'm fairly certain when I click he's gonna fall. He's... Let's just say the only reason he hasn't fallen yet being on tiptoes like that. It's definitely from his tail. Also, if he's on tiptoes, is she taller than him? Oh, he was gonna leap at her? Have some class, man. Playing hard to get, eh? <laughs> oh my god, Zane. Happy fit. Now you need to announce you're joining to the twins at the other gate. What? You mean there's more? You have to follow tradition, lad. Oh well. Time for us newlyweds to make the rounds, Dagger. Remember, we're only married while we're here. Bliss is so fleeting. Zidane, what are we supposed to do? Hey, <laughs> you guys trying to ruin our honeymoon? But you know can just leave us here. Don't worry, you'll figure something out. Hmm, let's see. First, let's go see the twins, and why don't you get guys get married too? Yeah, um... Um... So I'm thinking I'm gonna go with first let's go see the twins, but at first I'm gonna do why don't you guys get married to revert to my last save just outside the village and go through all that again and then you guys can see both. Ha! Huh, it's a plan, Stan. Click. Why don't you guys get married too? What? I'm seven! Yeah, that's it. In the meantime, Tagger and I can go announce our marriage. Active time event. That's the pause. Noopital joy. <laughs> Oh god, it actually does it! I have the strength to carry you through the trials. And the wisdom to follow the path? I'm trying to make it sound like the, even the David doesn't know what's going on. May the blessings of heaven be upon this man and woman? Boy and... Q? I so happy. M me too. Um, thief. Hi guys, we're the newlyweds, Dane and Dagger. Really ho, happy fit. Off to the sanctuary then, are ye? Uh, that's right. Why don't you let us? Oh, that's Dagger. Oops. That's right. Will you let us through now? <laughs> Rally ho, of course. Safe journey to the both of ye. Let us be off, my darling. Thief! Huh? Hey! Mog, hurry! Oh, crap. I need to give her a voice. <sighs> crap, crap, crap. Okay. I've already used all my voices in the other characters. Um. Um. Well, this is Daggers. This is Vivi's. This is Freya's. What can I give her? Because I can't just do my sassy voice, because that's Zidane. Um, she's kind of a kid, so I should go for a kid voice. But I don't want to give her Vivi, so I guess I'm going to go with this. Mog, hurry! Kupo! Stop, thief! Stop, thief! Wh what's going on? I don't know. Let's go take a look. I'm pretty sure that if you don't marry the two of them, they just sh it just skips to this scene, so I'm not gonna bother going back. They go to way. <laughs> Is that supposed to sound like what I think it's supposed to sound like? And we cannot go any further. Does anyone live out here? Of course not. It's forbidden. You two thieves are always snitching food. Yawn, two thieves. Oh, yeah? Oh, catch him next time. <laughs> There's Vivi, and they probably would have just walked out if they had not been married. But I like it when they're married. It's humorous. <laughs> oh, hi, guys. 
So you've had your ceremony, right? Y yeah. Beep, have nerve to steal food right in front of me. Okay, time to press on. All right. Away we go. Let us go, go, go onwards. Oh. <laughs> hey. Mountain path. I like this music. Kapopo! Hurry, Mog, before we get caught. Is that the voice I gave her? Who knows? Kupo! What's wrong, Mog? Kupo! Well, wait! Don't leave me here! Ugh. Stuck on a branch. Betrayed by my own trusted Moogle. Is this how I meet my end? Mog, I'm gonna haunt you if I die here. Oh, am I hallucinating? That person has no horn. He has a tail, though. Huh? Ah! Help! Don't eat me! I won't taste good! It's true! I taste awful! You heard her, Kuna. I see. Too bad. But Moogle that ran away is a very strange color. I'll go find and eat it. No, don't! Ah! Gotcha. <laughs> Oh, Kuna. Th thanks Are you okay? Yeah. You're not hurt? I told you I'm okay. I'm not a child like that kid in blue. But you don't look any older than me. Are you kidding? And I do have a name, you know. Age six. I'm pretty sure she's younger than him. Holy crap, my nephew's older than Iko. Sorry, just it's mind boggling to think of. Cause she always seemed so big, and she's not. I. My gosh. The name's Iko. Shouldn't you introduce yourself before addressing a lady? You introduced yourself. First, you got a problem. I'm just putting all of the sass that I can into Igo. I'm Dagger, and this is Vivi. Yeah, well, what about you? Me, I'm Zidane. Zidane. Alright. So, Miss Igo, why did you steal from the village? I was hungry. <laughs> you sound just like Kuna. Hey, did they really go chasing after that Moogle? Oh no! They're gonna eat Mog! I don't think Kuna would eat a Moogle. Do you live nearby, Aiko? Yeah, be on this path. I'm sure Mog went home. Why don't we take her home? Yeah, yeah. Anything for my lovely wife. <laughs> I can't. I'm gonna implode from how cringeworthy he is. You two are married? Yep, we're newlyweds. No, no, we're just friends. Well, I guess that's better than nothing. Oh, is it Jane? I want to be your friend, too. Alright, then. Let's go find our new friend's house. Go to our new friend's house. That was adorable. Freaking fantastic. Let's see, do I keep going or cut the episode here and make it a short one? Um. Oh. Battle, I guess. Let's see if it's something new. Well, I'll be damned. Those things look intense. Uh, by the way, and I already... Aiko has light magic. That's pretty cool. I already did it. But it, you're going to want to... I'm so distracted right now. What did I do? I clicked auto! Damn it. Stole high potion. Fantastic. Anyway, because Aiko replaces Kuna, you're gonna wanna strip Kuna before you do the marriage stuff. Lazara, okay, good to know. You got any summon? Fenrir. Let's see what Fenrir looks like. 
I'm instantly thinking of Fenris from Dragon Age. Vanish, that's not good. Fyra, thank you. Oh ha! Zane can almost do a thousand. Terrestrial rage. I like how she has a flute. It's so cute. Cute flute. Ah! I like Fenrir. Fenrir's pretty awesome. It's so cute. That part's not so cute, but ah, I like Iko so much. Hey, Dagger. Was that an Edelon? I think so. <laughs> Iko, can you summon magic too? <laughs> I forgot they reacted in battle to that. Oh, come on, Zane. Really? You couldn't hold off for five seconds. Jesus. I like the way Ika little dance things. And her sleeve gloves. And her purple bob. She's so cute. Whoa! It's because he's tranced, but whoa. Did you do a little twirl? Oh. I mean, Vivi is still fave. But Ika is pretty damn close. Vivi learned bio. Whoa, oh, oh, oh. Alright, Aiko, let's see what we can teach you. So you're already learning Auto Regen, Cura, and Life from Golem Flute. Um, anything I can teach you? You could learn Protect, Loud, Loud Mouth, Loud Mouth. Gonna teach you Loud Mouth. Loud Mouth! Let's see, Antibody. I mean, she's learning Antibody from that. Clear Headed, Silence. Um,. Go ahead and, oops, that's not what I meant to click. Let's go ahead and keep her with antibody for now. She's learning Cure and Cura at the same time from this stuff. Good to know. Oh, but she could be learning Ability Up and Loudmouth from the Silk Rope instead of Cura. Instead of Cure, rather. We're gonna go with that. Yeah. And then... Phoenix Pinion teaches you something? That did not pop up with Dagger. Oops, not what I meant to click. But yeah, she she can't learn anything from a Phoenix Pinion. Anyway, what did I really want to equip on her? Oh, she can also learn Landmouth from Pro Rouge. Good to know. Where'd it go? Ability up. Because I want her to learn ability up quick. And she's learning life from that. So that's good. She'll also learn life really quick. Alright. Alright. Now let's ability Ico up, y'all. Um, auto regen. Automatically cast regen in battle. Pretty cool. First off. Ability up. Loud mouth. Let's go ahead and throw antibody on her while we're at it. Alright. But damn, Iko's health is low. And I mean, since I took... What's she learning? Nothing? Since I took her Sapphire off of her, she can't learn Fenrir. That sucks, but anyway, she'll still learn High Tide. I took the Sapphire off of her to teach Iko ability up, so we're gonna go ahead and temporarily throw it on Tagger. Even though that means I can't use Fenrir. But... That makes a good stopping point, I do believe. So that's gonna mark the end of my turn. Let me just cast the controller on back to you and hope you pass along again soon. Bye bye guys, and thanks for watching.